Howdy ho! Like how hypocrisy how you are, oh my god. Hey girl gang, what up everybody? Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Valentine's Day so far. Good to see you guys. Okay, everything was frozen. I see now it's all going. Phew, I thought we might have to start over. How are you? How are you guys again? Sorry, nice to see you. I wasn't even sure if you could hear me. I wasn't sure if this was working. Yay, we're good. Woo. Hello. Happy Valentine's Day. Y'all. Oh, wait. Foodie got kicked. Yes, Foodie did get kicked by a camel in her latest vlog. It's, of course, where we're going to be starting tonight because I want to see that. Woo. I have not seen. I heard there's uh, quite a few interesting little nugs in the latest vlog. So that's where we're going to start. And then we're going to kind of go backwards in time, uh, do a little of the sushi uh, reaction because I still have not watched that one yet. And the the 12 inch double sandwich, backup sandwich, uh, Italian sub mukbang. We're going to watch those just because I haven't watched them yet. I'm sure most of you probably have already seen them. So sorry, sorry, but that's, that's what it is now. I don't watch them alone because it's too fucking boring. Uh, where's your scat man, Pondu? Thank you for the super chat, girl. It's your birthday? Well, happy birthday. Well, Valentine's Day, baby. I hope you had a fantastic birthday so far and a fantastic Valentine's Day. Since it is Valentine's Day, of course, I have some words of love to the girls <clears throat> before we get started. Y'all, roses are red. Today's the first day of Lent. Never get into a bath full, a bathtub full of peeps to pay a crackhead's rent. <laughs> peeps, peeps. Unfortunately, that's as close to the bathtub full of peeps as I could pop up on this screen. You know how, you know how YouTube plays. <clears throat> We're in my little pictures, okay? <laughs> yes, I've already smoked. Give me patience, damn it. Roses are red. Chantal is trash. But never forget, I worship your ass. <laughs> the way I crack myself up. Oh, my God. And one more. <clears throat> Last but certainly not least. Uh, roses are red. Violets are blue. I piss on you. I shit on you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day to the fake married couple, uh, to Ham Hawks and her fucking scat man of a fake incel freak, uh, floppy tit, big birthing hip having fake husband. Woo! Miss Movie Buff, thank you so much for the super chat. Happy Valentine's Day. Ah, uh, good stuff. Good freaking get, 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 get off my screen, scat man and your shit. Unfortunately, Chantal won't be getting any of that shit on Valentine's Day or any other day. Uh, I just thought of those as I was sitting waiting for us to go live. I should have started thinking about them all day. We could have just done a strain of roses are red, violets are blue, insert the rest. Go fuck you. <laughs> Ricky, 
It's Julie. Hey, Julie. Thank you for the super chat. FFG, will you be my Galentine with Grandma Spud? Sure. Absolutely. Sure. Happy Galentine's Day, beaches. <laughs> uh, well, their fingers may be that. Uh, <laughs> Chantodler. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Roses are red. My heart is black. Chantal needs to get off her buffalo ass. Ha! That's a good one. I like it. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. Thank you for the super chat. Happy Valentine's from Italy. Wow. Happy Valentine's to you, too. That's fantastic. Kybella and Salad sitting in a tree. S-H-I-T-T-I-N-G? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> uh, I mean, no, they could be kissing, right? But only 15 minutes. Eight hours farting in my face. It's 15 minutes only kiss. <clears throat> now, let's get on with it. Get, get, get out of here. <laughs> it's been a busy day at the Red Room. Well, you know, you, you got to do a little something for yourself on Valentine's Day. It's a day for self-love. And I'm sure he is loving on himself and certainly not on his fake wife. <clears throat> so we're going to uh, watch the video that she put out today. Day in the life of a Canadian in Kuwait. I got theories about this video. I might be wrong. Again, I haven't watched the video, but just based on how she's dressed and what happened last night, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that this video was filmed yesterday. This is not from today. This is not current. This, this is yesterday content. They went out, they did this video. She's uncomfortable and unhappy in this video. There's going to be some stuff to keep an eye out for. Then she came home and instead of like spending the evening with her, he fucks off to whatever red room he's fucking around in. And she was in such a miserable, bad mood. That's why she came on live raging last night. It explains the leftover makeup all over her face. She's made up in this video to go out. That's my theory. I could be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong, but we'll watch together and try and try and see. It really does look like uh, this was filmed yesterday. She's wearing the exact same thing as yesterday. That weird guy, Justin. Hey, weird Justin. Thank you for the super chat. Keep KC in your mind today, girl. Yeah, that was so sad. So Kansas City that just won the Super Bowl. So they're doing their like Super Bowl celebration this afternoon. There was a big shooting at the Super Bowl celebration. Uh, people have died. There's people at the hospital. It's a whole mess. It's so sad. Oh, uh, that, that really, really too bad, man. It's there. There's, you know, I don't want to get all preachy. We're just starting, but there's going to come a day where none of us are going to want to participate in shit. Cause every time people gather lately, it's, it's fuck shit happens. Always shootings, always problems. It's horrible. Teaspoon. Thank you for the super chat. Finally caught a live. Happy Valentine's day to you too, girl. Thanks for being here. Oh, it's, just, it's terrifying. How, how can you always be watching over your shoulder? I don't know. I don't know. I uh, I would be scared all the time. Olive branches and brass knuckles. Thank you for the super chat. Kicked by a camel. The Chantal Olive Marie Soro story. It was still the most action she's gotten in years. Good point. You're absolutely right. Probably since the last when when Koki whacked the back of her neck. Genevieve, thank you for the super chat. Other job didn't work out, unfortunately. Oh, that sucks. I was that low. Uh, but thankfully, I have my backup, so it's not too much of a loss. That's great. That's good. Just just keep looking. Something always works out when you're motivated to work, you know? But that's really too bad that it didn't work out, girl. Caleb, thank you for the super chat. You make me crumble like feta FFG. <laughs> is there nothing else that crumbles? Why does it always have to come back to the feta? Feta agenda in the house. God damn it. <laughs> thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Huh. Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, camels are tan. Chantal's a loser who can't keep a man. But um, ching. I like it. I like it a lot. Feral girl, that was a good one. <laughs> Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. The British love tea. Chantal will forever scream. What about me? <laughs> that is fantastic. Ah, oh, I love that. Lisa Bear, thank you for your contribution to Valentine's Day. Love the feta. Get out of here with the feta. It's enough with the feta. It's fucking Valentine's Day. Do we not get one day off? Oh, my God. She looked hella uncomfortable in the car. I'd like to see it. All right. That's it. I'm raging. I feel bullied and my bully's not even here. But now that I've mentioned her, I feel like she'll be summoned. Let's just fucking start, okay? It's Valentine's Day. Give me a fucking break. 
You know, you know, just sidebar before we do start, as a November baby myself, did you know that the most serial killers are born in November? And have you ever worked out why that is? It's because you figure out you were the, the product of Valentine's Day sex and it grosses you out for the rest of your life. Now, as a November 1st baby myself, sitting here on Valentine's Day, can you fucking bullies give me one day off? Don't make me become a serial killer. It'll be your fault. I'm blaming all of you. But, but your honor, it was the chat. I felt bullied. Tracy, thank you for the super chat. The camel footage is iconic. I can't wait to see it. Oh, she finally gets touched and it's by a camel. I love that so much. Love it. But it's the truth. November 4th, baby here. <laughs> Welcome to my hell. Ugh. Panda Pup, thank you for the super chat. Camel's more ringworm for Julia. Oh, yes. It's just so responsible as a pet owner of Chantal to do. But it's Chantal. What the fuck do we expect, right? Look at my body. Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are blue. Chantal sucks. The end. Okay, well. It's concise. It's to the point. I fucking like it. <laughs> Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. Chantal, you can't wait. Chantal, you can't please. The same comes to Frenchie when you serve feta cheese. God damn it. Bullied. That's it. Capricorn Andrew, you're getting blocked on this Valentine's Day. It's over. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, uh, Samarham, thank you for the super chat. In a previous live, she said she was going to a clinic on Tuesday and Canadian and Australian governments advised not to interact with camels in Kuwait due to MERS. Well, Figures, figures, and uh, the lies about the clinic. It's it's just that. She's lies. It's just lies. It's all Chantal. Um, oh, wait, no, that's not, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm high. Forgive me. So she said, said she was going to the clinic on Tuesday, which would make sense that this whole thing was filmed yesterday because there's clinic footage in this video, I'm assuming. I'm sorry. I don't really have context because I didn't watch the video, but I'm assuming that's where the, that must be. That must be it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Well, confirm then. It was all done yesterday. Jenny from the block, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are black. So sad for Chantal that salad won't shit on her back. Ah, that's a good one, girl. We love we love a little scat thrown into a poem around here. Oh, no. You remember when I just said, now we summoned my bully? All you have to do is fucking mention feta in a nasty way once. Bam, bully appears. God damn it. He jab cheese, you're everywhere, bitch. Thank you for the super chat. Oh. I am Mr. FFG, you fucking nasty bitch. <laughs> In the arms of the angel. Damn it! Uh, Justine, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. Chantal's been stuck in bed. If she doesn't stop eating, she will lose a leg. All very true. This is true. <laughs> Roses are red. The car is from Timu, who clothes, whose clothes fit so badly. They go F and C through. <laughs> Rat eyes, that's a good one, girl. Panda Pup, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. Feta is good. FFG is now in a mood. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, my Valentine's gift to myself is going to be blocking all of you hater ass, bully ass beaches. Teaspoon, thank you again for the super chat. Roses are red. Violets are blue. And scat still into poo. <laughs> he absolutely is. I hope he's shitting on someone real good tonight for Valentine's Day. Mm. Oh, uh, oh no. <laughs> Carla Hamolka, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, Frenchie is cute, Scatman's a pervert, and Chantal's a charmote. Woo! <laughs> That's a good one. Holy shit. A very good one. Thank you, Carla Hamolka. Appreciate your participation. Kalari, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Roses ate red, ham is pink. Chantal, aka Miriam, is a heifer who stinks. <laughs> Another classic. Thank you, Kalari. <laughs> you guys are too much. This is awesome. Is this a poetry class? It seems like it has turned into one tonight, isn't it? Roses are red, violets are blue. Why aren't you talking about me? <laughs> Oh my God, you made me fucking wheeze with that one. That's the one. That is the one. Roses are red, violets are blue. Why aren't you talking about me? <laughs> Crystal, perfect. You win Valentine's Day with that. Oh shit, you got me to wheeze. I just wheezed. <laughs> 
Good one, man. Polar pinup, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. Candy is sweet. Shop doll has to sit on plastic wrapped seats. Wait. Big car update. He removed this, the plastic from her seat. There's still plastic, you know, around in the car, but her seat specifically, no more plastic. Wow. I guess it is true, love. Huh? <laughs> Lisa Bear, thank you again for the Super Chat. Red are the roses and blue are the cheeses. Chantal cries, why not me, Jesus? <laughs> she certainly does. But she's crying to no one because nobody's there. Wah, wah. KD, thank you for the super chat. Roses are pink. Violets are not. Foodie Beauty stinks. FFG is hot. <laughs> oh, wow, KD, you flatterer. I appreciate that. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Ooh. <laughs> Cucarelli, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. My dog is tan. It's Valentine's Day, Chantal. Where's your man? Woo! Yeah, Chantal. Where's your man? Where's your scat man? Who's he shitting on? Where's the red room pictures? Oh, it's a matter of time before someone else comes out that he's chatting them up or some shit. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, something to look forward to later on in the year. Mm. Right, M. Thank you for the super chat. Violets are blue. Cinderella is too. Mozzarella is delicious. And FFV. FFG is malicious, but still won't block me. Why won't you block me? Right, M. Your wish is my command tonight, bitch. Damn it. <laughs> Mozzarella is delicious and FFG is malicious. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Brooke, thank you for the super chat. Check out Chantal's fingers when she holds up the coffee and the camera and her filters. Freaks out. Ooh, we love a good filter fail around here. Happy Valentine's Day to her and her damn filters. Nevermore. Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. The stars shine above. Chantal will never find honest true love. She absolutely won't. Inshallah. <laughs> Nevermore. Thank you so much for that. I love it. Trisha Bobisha. Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. Chantal is gross. Poop on Salah. He loves it the most. <laughs> He does. The freaky motherfucker. He really does. Ah, foodie beauty. Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. Violets are blue. My moist and yeasty cracks are ready for you. Get moist and yeasty in one sentence. Ugh, I hate it. I hate that one the most. <laughs> uh, cannibal ducky. Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. Chantal is mean. FFG cam up. You skinny queen. <laughs> Yes, that's right. If you hadn't heard, I'm hiding the fact that I'm a skinny queen from all y'all. The pictures you've seen me, myself, post of me is propaganda. I am actually a skinny queen. And in the right moment, I will prove it to y'all. Triple chins? We don't know her. We're a skinny queen over here. <laughs> hiding behind a $2,000 computer. Oh, y'all are wild. Good fucking time. How long have we been live? Hey, Party Pixie. Uh, 18 minutes, but we haven't done shit yet. Then kind of just dunk on Chantal. You know, you know how we do. Olive branches and brass knuckles. Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Chantal ate RB sandwich for stabby use. <laughs> and it still didn't work. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> Feral girl. Thank you again for the super chat. Roses are red. What rhymes with diabetes? <laughs> Not a whole lot, eh? Wah, wah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Comrade. Wait. Thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Kathy Brown, thank you for the super chat. Oh, wait. Roses are red. Chantal is blue. Salads effed off. Boo-hoo. Ah! And that's why she was so sad about being alone that... You know, instead of crying at her loneliness and fake husband situation, she decided to come out and be a whole ass anti-Semite instead. Wow. Oh my God. Diabetes, you're going to lose your feeties. That is what runs with diabetes. You're right. Oh no. Oh no. Appropriate though, isn't it? Libra, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are blue. Chantal salad still doesn't love you. Bloop. <laughs> Truth. The true ones are always the best ones. <clears throat> Anna, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, salad eats poop. Chantal hates Kuwait and is jealous of DD Mega Doo Doo. <laughs> Absolutely the truth. Uh huh. Well said. 
best Valentine's ever for some of us, not for, you know, scat man and his fake wife. <laughs> Diabetes rhymes with Funkel Feedies. It certainly does. Lord Baroque, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are blue. Too long didn't read. They differ in hue. <laughs> That's cute. Glossy Hop, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. Roses are red. Wait, Chantal is green because FFG is a skinny queen. <laughs> Another good one. Where's your scat man, Pondu? Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. I'm getting FOMO. Uh, just when you think she's hit rock bottom, she hits a new low. Always has and always will. It's the one thing she's consistent with. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fruit Punch Bubble Gum. Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red and sometimes yellow. Sala asked Chantal if he can call her Kai Bella. I shit on you. I piss on you. I bet he does. Can you? Oh, no. But that they'd have to be doing it for him to mess up the name. <clears throat> it's a moot point. Cannibal Ducky. Thank you for the super chat. I just know she's watching this fuming. Let her fume. Let her fume all alone. All alone. Oh, how was Valentine's Day all alone, sucker? <laughs> oh, no, no. We're just not showing what we did together on Valentine's Day because, you know, the internet. <laughs> it's not that we did nothing. It's not that he's not even around anymore. It's not that I'm alone every goddamn day of my life. <laughs> it's, you know, my privacy, the internet. You guys don't know what goes on behind the scenes, okay? He treats me like a queen, just like Koki did. Glossy Hop, thank you again for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are green. Chantal is horny and can't reach her bean. Ah! It's so sad, isn't it? It's so sad. Uh, Rexham AFC, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are blue. I gave away my cats for you. <laughs> Y'all are good at this game. This is awesome. Oh, FFG's dad says marijuana, not marijuana. Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. FFG's dad is blue because her pipes are glue. Run the cold water through. <laughs> I'll be 40 this year. I never run the cold water for 40 fucking years. I'm certainly not starting now. Let the pipes be glue. Let them be glue. I know how to fix them myself now. I am an independent woman. Nobody needs any whip about the pipes, all right? Damn it. Stop pulling at me. Do you run the cold water? I bet you don't. Fednama, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are blue. Chantal is a mammal who only gets affection from camels. And even then they talk shit about her when she leaves, I'm sure. Disco Jam Lore, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, maple leaves too. I could see myself in your disco jamming pants. <laughs> oh my God, this is so fucking unhinged. I can't tell. Am I too high tonight or are you guys like extra fucking on tonight? Because I can't stop laughing. Is it you? Is it me? I think it's you. Teaspoon, thank you for the super chat again, girl. Roses are red, violets are blue, Chantal salad still won't do you. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Not part of the contract. KK, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are blue, Chantal smoked meth and said, Yaha hee hoo. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh my God. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, Isabella, thank you for the super chat. Happy Valentine's Day to you too, girl. Ooh, okay, I need to breathe. We got to press play on a react here because I need to breathe. I need to crack open a Coke Zero. All right, this is intense. This is a lot. Y'all trying to kill me on this Valentine's Day. Oh, no. <laughs> Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, grass is green. Chantal still craves Cokey's green dripping green. <laughs> yes, she does. And she'll never get it again. Wah, wah. Uh, Olive branches and brass knuckles. Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are blue. Yabba yeah, FFG is giving the Kia to you. If I listen, if I get that Kia, <laughs> Yabba's getting the Kia. Little rebel cat. Thank you for the super chat. Where is salad? Chantel is unsure, but how much of this can she really endure? Ooh, ooh, it's a poem and a thinker. Oh shit, that was a clever one. Damn, you got me with that one. <laughs> Oh, no. I love this jet, too. 
<laughs> Amanda Hug and Kiss, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, pineapple is yellow. Only skinny queens eat them as a meal, yellow. <laughs> Where's your pineapple dinner, Chantal? Mm. Perry Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are blue. Salad's not around. Chantal is bed bound. <laughs> Certainly is bed bound and blue. Mm -hmm. Just like those violets. Mm. Neil, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are blue. Miriam says, yaha, <laughs> I like that yaha, you. I want to clip that and put it in the intro. Just the yaha, you part. Mm, it's nice. Lime Jello, thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are blue. Don't talk shit about people who are Jew. F off, beesh. I like that. Again, right to the point. Absolutely correct. All right, with that. Let's go watch the one who had mad shit to say about a Jew, me specifically, but insulted all the Jewish people in the community yesterday. Now, like I saying, like I was saying, I mean, I do believe that the video we're about to watch that she posted earlier today was filmed yesterday before the anti-Semitic rage stream. She's dressed the same, looks the same to me. It looks like she's wearing the makeup that she that uh, then took a nap in and woke up and it was all messed up on her face last night. So... Was it this video that pissed her off? Was it the fact that he dropped her back at her shitbox in the sky and fucked off all night again that pissed her off? I don't know. But I had the feeling yesterday, and I'm sticking by it today, she had no reason to be so angry yesterday except that something happened between them, and she was taking it out on me because she's been doing that for quite some time. Hmm. All right, hold on. Let me get the tab. Let's see what's going on. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be more of a vlog, I guess. I just want to kind of show you also my progress with walking when it comes to like healing from this injury I have, this sciatica I have. So I'm just going to get out a bit, get some sunshine, get some fresh air, always lifts my mood. I'm going to do something I really enjoy, try to walk a little bit. Um, I don't know where yet, maybe the beach, maybe the desert, we'll see. But also, um, yeah, maybe just get a coffee, go for a walk. I do have to go to the clinic, I'm still on vitamin injections, which are supposed to help heal any kind of nerve damage in your body. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, interesting. So as was mentioned earlier, it does kind of confirm that this whole thing was filmed yesterday because she had previously mentioned that she had an appointment at the clinic on Tuesday. Interesting. So whatever happened on this day is what set her the fuck off last night for no reason at all. No BS. Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red, violets are blue. Life is too short to be Delulu. Unless you're Chantal Sorel and then stay Delulu because you will be forever and have been forever. Garito, thank you for the super chat. This is a red Chantal hasn't paid off her car. I cannot believe how hypocrisy you are. And I wanted to show you a clip of also I made another pot pie and I, w I filmed it. I wanted to film like a little bit of a cooking process to show you how I do it. Some people were asking me how I made it. Um, I did. Um, I did make it in a very like half the size dish of the last time. So there's not as much chance for overeating. And I split it with. Days ago, she said she could never make a, a chicken pot pie again, or it would be a long time till she made a chicken pot pie again. Why? Because it was such a trigger food for her. We saw her eat a casserole-sized chicken pot pie all alone. So now she says she found a dish to make it in that's half the size. That's still way too much chicken pot pie that this bitch needs. She, she has no business making any chicken pot pies. But half the size to tell us, well, I found a dish that's half the size... That's not really saying anything. Still way too big for one person. That's insane. Soulless, thank you for the super chat. Roses are nice, but wind up dead as Chantal is alone in a shit splattered bed. Wow. With my husband. So yeah, that was the trick. Made it in a smaller pot and a smaller dish, like this kind of dish. So that, you know, again, prevent overeating of it because it's something I love a lot. So um, I will show you that to begin with, how I made that. I made it a few days ago. And then I'll just show you like clips of when I'm out and about. And uh, just I want to show you mainly, you know, the how I walk now kind of with this. And um, it is slowly getting better. I do have flare up sometimes depends on if I move or sit in a position that's not, you know, favorable. It, that kind of like causes more compression on the nerve. Um, so sitting again is the worst position for me for that kind of thing. So yeah, come with me. I'll show you just a little bit, you know, go for a small walk because I do want to get out and move and try to move and stuff. And um... so you see what I mean? Like she's wearing the exact same thing as yesterday and the makeup 
tracks. The makeup that she's wearing here looks like the like this is the fresh version of the messed up makeup she had going on last night in the rage stream. I do believe, yeah, this was definitely filmed yesterday. What pissed her off? Now I can't stop thinking about it. EM, thank you for the super chat. I have been doing a little bit of stretches that are supposed to help like decompress the nerve area, like the compressed nerve area. So I don't know if it's helping or not, but yeah. And I know it's Valentine's day. Um, you know, typically Muslims don't celebrate that. So I, we don't really celebrate it, but, um, we're just going to, since I'm not able to do much physically, like in the way of going out or anything, we're just going to have a nice dinner together here tonight and watch movies. So that's the plan. So they're probably, yeah, there won't be a live stream tonight. I don't think so. <laughs> We're going to spend the time together and just enjoy each other's company. And uh, yeah, that's about it. If you do celebrate, I wish you have a wonderful Excuse me, wait, what, what, what were they supposed to keep in mind? This was from last night. So what was the plan for last night? So they're probably, yeah, there won't be a live stream tonight. I don't think so. <laughs> We're going to spend the time together and just enjoy each other's company. And uh, yeah, that's about it. If you do celebrate it. How did that work out for you? This was filmed yesterday. So y'all, we're just going to spend the time together and enjoy each other's company. Unless she's talking about today, which we all understand is still not going to happen. But instead of enjoying your, your husband's company, you came online in the middle of the night like a sociopath and did a whole ass anti-Semitic rage stream. Well, he clearly was not there. Chantal. Where was your husband at three o'clock in the morning yesterday while you were ranting and raving like an idiot on the internet? Three o'clock in the morning? You're still going to try and convince us when he was out with his friends? Girl, <clears throat> stop. Okay, stop it. My mom said something a long ass time ago to me and it really stuck and it was that nothing is open past 2 a.m. but legs. Hmm? Now I understand the late night thing and the whole uh, late meals and late living and late this and that. 2 a.m., bitch, husbands are home. It's not Ramadan. There's no reason to be out like that at those kind of hours. <laughs> the only thing open past 2 a.m. is legs, not yours. Randos. <laughs> That's a shit. Racky, thank you for the super chat. I wish you have a wonderful day anyway. And um, Yella, let's go. All right. All right. This is my gravy for the pot pie. Put my recipe somewhere <laughs> kind of weird eh that we don't see her actually make the sauce you just randomly start filming as you're whisking the final product i don't see one speck of flour let's say stuck to that whisk stuck to the side of the bowl chantal uh, cooks like shit you would be able to see some of the ingredients on the edge of that bowl. I don't know where packet maybe she opened this package from, but I do not believe that she made this from scratch. Let that be another thing she harps on for a year and a half. There, yeah, there's no bits. There's no little, just, just a fleck of like a flower that we could see or something. You know what I mean? There is no fucking way she made this sauce and that's why she didn't film it. Getting ready to cook the pot pie. All right, so I got a chicken here roasted and I'm gonna cut it up I'm also putting some oh that's the reference in our fucking thumbnail today what in the shit is that look at the freezer burn there's more freezer burn than there is veggies in that dish that's so gross oh that really really fucking just turns me off I can like smell your freezer with that freezer burn on it Ugh. that's nasty man just nasty. And she's constantly going on and on about how everything is so fresh in Kuwait and everything is so great in Kuwait and blah, blah, blah. What the fuck is this? The freezer burnt veggies, but oh well. It'll cook down in the oven. So just some mixed peas, corn, carrots, and beans. She doesn't even bother like putting it in a strainer, letting them kind of like defrost a little and let that shit melt off into a sink. No, no, no. Put it into the chicken pot pie. It adds freezer flavor. Mmm. Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. All right. So I use about um, two chicken breasts. Shred it up like that. Now we're going to add the gravy. All right. I added all the gravy. And this is a much smaller pie dish. 
than the last one, but maybe by half the size will prevent a lot of overeating because I love this so much. All right, and here's my pie crust made with oil. I always make, so I'm gonna flatten this out and add it to the pie. That I always make. She's made it once before in her life and it looked as nasty then as it looks now. And I also have some egg wash here. So I'm just gonna brush that on the pie. Just helps make it golden brown, you know? <laughs> I can hear her heavy breathing. All she's doing is egg washing a, a fucking pie. And she's out of breath, spreading egg on a pie. All right, and voila, into the oven it goes until it's golden brown. And it's ready. All right, there's my messy portion. We're supposed to believe that she only ate half that pie and the other half was for salad. You ate the first half. You portioned that out to, you know, show the camera or whatever. You Kirby style ate that and then you ate the other half. Stop it, Chantal. Stop it. Ricky, it's Julian. Thank you for the super chat. It's a beautiful day today. It's 21 degrees. Celsius. All right, so we're here getting some ice mochas and... That's quite the pose. That is quite the pose right there. Wow. She's in the car. The plastic is off of her seat. The plastic is off of her seat. It's still on the visor, but it's off of her seat. I guess that's because of the Kai Bella messages. He had to take the plastic off her seat. Was that part of the deal? <laughs> Neil, thank you for the super chat. Um, yeah, I know it's not the healthiest thing for me. Um, you know what I've realized about certain things here? It's like, different country different comforts you know I guess this kind of like I smoke is one of my comforts here and you know um I'm gonna that what kind of an excuse is that for I hate that she even bothers giving excuses bitch we don't care it's not our leg that's about to pop off okay it's not our beat it doesn't affect our life you don't need to excuse your fucking sugary drink that you're about to take down but to have the audacity to call that like your comfort Every country has its own comforts, but if this is my comfort, you just siphon down half a chicken pot pie. And that's only, I'm only saying half because I'm kind tonight, okay? You just fucked up a chicken pot pie. That was the comfort. You don't then go for a fucking ultra sugary drink. Where does the comfort end? It's just you being Chantal. Chantal has always done this. Never deny yourself anything. Every meal is a cheat meal. Every day is just giving in to your cravings and your temptation. It's very Chantal. Nothing's changed. Nothing ever will. Dogs are better than people. Thank you for the super chat. Oh my God, it's your baby's birthday. Reginald Anderson Cooper. Great name. Hap 12 years old. Oh, bless. Happy birthday, Reginald Anderson Cooper. I'm going to enjoy one today. I haven't had one in a long time. So um, I'm just going to have one. Yeah, I know it's not the best, but anyway. All right, see you. So this is the mocha chocolate syrup whipped cream. Small size. Speed bumps. Now? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I can't let it go. I tried to let it go. She does such shit about my hands. At least my thumbs look human. I'm just saying, what in the toe do you have going on on your fucking hands? Is that part of the Funkle features? Half toes, but then you find the other half actually on your hands? Maybe. Deidre, thank you for the super chat. Um, Maybe a little bit of crying and a little high on the painkillers that I think she's abusing with these nerve pain, allegedly conspiracy, whatever. Now we are passing the Alcoot Mall. It's the largest mall in Faha Hill. Yep, and this is still part of the mall. <laughs> and you'll see a lot of flags and everything because February 25th is Kuwait National Day and they're starting early to celebrate. Now we're passing the Farahil Bazaar. It's a market in Farahil. I love that she still says the city she lives in so badly. Farahil. Why did she say it so bad? Why does it just like repeat it like 20 times until you feel comfortable saying it? It's messed up. Ha ha he who feral girl. Thank you for the super chat. I love a haiku. Dirty Abaya bed bound with sciatica diabetes foot. Ooh, that was deep. I like that. 
Oh, hi. <laughs> Here with the camels, the baby camel. Hi. Hello. Nope. <laughs> they don't really like to be pet, I guess, these ones. The family. <laughs> Interesting. Let's just take note of the way she's walking now. She's got a pretty quick, like, uh, do, 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 walk going somewhat. Because they're going to show her what I saw on Twitter, her going up this, like, ramp to go to their house. And the way she's, like, over-exaggerating, getting up that ramp, it doesn't really fit with what's going on right now. I'm just saying. Perry Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. Oh. This one likes me. Hi. Oh. Hi. Come. On. Yes. Okay. Do you want to see me? You me? No. I'm the camel whisperer of Kuwait. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's jealous. He blocked the way. <laughs> Don't eat my kafia. Oh, <laughs> he bit my head. The camel bit her head. The camel bit. God damn it. How bad do you smell that the camel's trying to eat you? Oh, <laughs> this one is jealous. <laughs> oh, wow. The one camel whispers to the other camel, she smells like cheese. <laughs> this is so fucking weird. She's so dumb. But she's like, oh my God, he's so jealous. Everyone's just always so jealous of Shot Doll, you know. AR, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Are you I think he claimed me. Are you jealous? Ma'am, no one will claim you. Oh, my God. She's using all her, like, man buzzwords on camels right now. Oh, my God. This one claimed me. Are you jealous? Like, bitch, they're camels. Relax. You bit my kofia. Love. <laughs> they're like hats. They like to be pet. They love love. so cute ar thank you for the super chat shout out to your girlfriend honey bun i love you baby girl oh happy valentine's day honey bun that's so sweet <laughs> if you haven't hugged a camel get out and do it okay hi Oh. 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 <laughs> Camel bees. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> You're the sweetest camel. Yes, you are the sweetest camel. I'm just yeah. waiting for the kick, yeah. honestly. Oh, did you hear that? He went, oh. I, I whispered in his ear, I went, I whispered, I said, you are the sweetest camel. And he went, oh, <laughs> you're the sweetest camel. Yes, you are. Yes. Okay, come on, where's the kick? You are the sweetest camel. You are the sweetest camel. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, my God. I feel like when I sing, oh, don't puke on me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, he kicked me! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
So I went to leave. Mm. Oh, he kicked me. Oh my God. Okay. 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 Mm. Oh, he kicked me. Okay. 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 Mm. Oh, he kicked me. Okay. 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 Move, Sharmuta. Mm. Oh, he kicked me. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I went to leave and he like blocked me and I tried to get away again and then he kicked me. He... And then you ran off. Wait a minute. You sciatica. Liatica. Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, he kicked me. Oh my God. Oh my God. How are you moving so fast, number one? And number two, how does your fake husband not step in to like help you out? He's backing away to protect himself and letting your fat ass fend for himself. I love that. Salad doesn't say anything. Salad doesn't do anything. Salad's just backing away. Please get her. Get her. <laughs> I cuddle cats. Thank you for the super chat. So I went to leave and he like blocked me and I tried to get away again. And then, okay, J3030, that's fair. It's like, I wouldn't call that running, but we're, we're talking about Chantal. Yeah, what do you, I mean, for Chantal, it's running. She's doing that penguin thing that she does. That's running. That's as close as she's getting to running. <laughs> oh my God. Crazy blonde biatch. Thank you for the super chat. And he kicked me. He kicked me on my leg. It didn't hurt, but it was like, get out of here then. <laughs> one minute loving, one minute kicking. That's the thing with camels. They're still wonderful creatures. Okay, so as you can see, I'm standing up, getting some vitamin D, healing, healing sunlight, and uh, feels good moving around, you know. So just trying to stretch my body, move my legs, walk around a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is interesting. Hold on. Just chicken shit. Thank you for the super chat. So, yeah, look, this the plastic is off her seat, okay? He is filming. She's going to get back into the car. Look at the interaction between them. I saw these pictures on Twitter before we went live, okay? The way she death stares him like, stop filming me like this. He films her like in a very unflattering way getting into the car. Okay. But then, Chantal, you edited the video. If you're death staring at him like, don't fucking film me like this, why didn't you just cut this part out? You, on the one hand, don't want him to think of you like this or see you in this way, but you'll still leave it in your video for like, I, I don't really know. Is it, it's not feeders. It's the weirdos on the internet who get it like joy out of watching a fatty unable to fucking get into an SUV, I suppose. Lifting my leg and some car hurts so bad. Oh. Oh. Yo. 39 years old, everybody. Here I was listening to Feel by Robbie Williams, one of my favorite songs. Haven't heard it in a while, and it just happened to come on randomly on a playlist I had. So here I am, just grooving and moving. Not to be a petty ass speech, but just doing that little bit of movement that she's doing. Do it for yourself right now. What do you notice? It engages your hips, doesn't it? Now, if your hips are engaged, wouldn't that also mean that in the area where this alleged sciatica pain is coming from would also somewhat be affected? I'm doing it right now. I've had a sciatica problem one time in my life, right? I told you. I can tell you that there's no fucking way that if I had sciatica right now, I would be doing that in a car seat or anywhere else. Abso-fucking-lutely not. That would hurt. Hey guys, just going for a drive. Um, had some fun with the camels. A little bit of car dancing and music. And now just going for a drive. Love it. Love going for long drives. Love going for long drives, says again, the woman who's supposed to have sciatica pain right now. Sitting down is the most painful thing when you have sciatica. You can 
walking, standing, it hurts. It, it, or like, I sh oh, fuck, I'm sorry. Blech, jumble mouth tonight. It doesn't hurt as you're walking. It doesn't hurt as you're standing. What, ha what hurts when you have sciatica is the starting and stopping of moving. Yes. Okay. Sitting down fucking hurts. It's hard to have any kind of like, uh, I don't know, any, any kind of comfort when you're sitting down and you have sciatica. I love going on long drives. There's uh, clearly not sciatica going on here. Bella Bluebird, thank you for the super chat. Happy Valentine's to you too. Out the window, you'll see a lot of camping areas set up. It's very popular for the winter time here in Kuwait. So it rained pretty hard the other day here and uh, it looks like the flooding created a mini lake of sorts. Hey, Golari, thank you again for the super chat, girl. We thought it was a nice background for some selfie shots. All right, here I am arriving at the clinic. I need to get some injections, a pain injection, and also some vitamin injections, mostly B vitamins, including B12. Okay, okay. Am I crazy or did it look like she only started limping as she approached closer to the clinic? Even the first few uh, steps that she took at the bottom of that, like what looked like a wheelchair ramp or whatever, she wasn't really limping. As she got closer to the door of the clinic, she started limping more. It was visible. It just happened. Is it possible that there is no actual nerve pain and we're just trying to get pain pills? So the, the, the game starts when somebody could possibly see us at the door of the clinic. Oh, this is just allegedly conspiracy, whatever. I will go back. I'm not being a hater ass beach. Where? Let's go to, okay. She's at the bottom of the ramp here, right? No, no, we're still on that flood water. Okay. Watch the change in the way she's watch, walking. All right, here I am arriving at the clinic. I need to get some injections, a pain injection, and also some vitamin injections, mostly B vitamins, including B12. She wasn't just walking like that at the bottom of the ramp. You see what I mean? As she approaches the door, she starts like limping more. Very sus. She just ran away from a camel. She's walking around. As she approaches the door of the clinic, she starts exaggerating the limp. Hmm. Oh, you want to see it again? Okay. Look, it's right here. Look, bottom of the ramp. Wait. The flood water. Fuck the flood water. Okay. Watch how the walk changes when she gets like, here, there's kind of three sides to this rectangle. Watch how it changes when she gets to the third side of the, of the rectangle towards the door. All right, here I am arriving at the clinic. I need to get some injections, a pain injection, and also some vitamin injections, mostly B vitamins, including B12. All right, time to head home. Injections are done. The nurse was like, you really need to lose weight. And uh, I agreed with her, <laughs> of course. I'm not going to dispute that. But time to go get something healthy for lunch and head home. You just stayed a chicken pot pie alone. And we know you ate the whole thing. You don't need anything else for lunch. It's enough with the lunch. All right, I'm just going to have some chicken breast and some fatouche salad. 
and some hummus. I'm not going to touch the fries. Maybe have one or two. But this is it for this vlog. I hope you enjoy. I see. Let me look at that chicken one more time. Wait, 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 wait. Interesting. Here's what I think happened on this day. These uh, eating videos, th these parts are out of order in her video. Lunchtime, they got this chicken and stuff. She went to the clinic, yada, yada, yada. They got all this chicken. They ate all the food. One chicken wouldn't be enough for her. There's a second chicken. She takes the second chicken later on when she's on one of her binge benders and later on with the other chicken made herself the chicken pot pie and ate it like a binge all alone, probably in the middle of the night. That's where the chicken came from. She can't roast the chicken that beautifully like the chicken she showed us earlier. No fucking way. And I wondered to myself, where did that chicken come from? And now it's all making sense. Yes, it was the backup chicken, a second chicken. They ate this, or she ate this. This was her lunch. And then the binge later on was her making herself an entire chicken pot pie. That's what happened. Wow. Delulu, thank you for the super chat, girl. Yeah, the chicken looks exactly the same. It does. It does. And I didn't say it because I feel like repetitive. I say it every time she shows a rotisserie chicken, like, she didn't make that. There's no fucking way she made that. The chicken's way too perfect. She cooks like shit. There is no fucking way she's made that chicken that she showed earlier. Now I understand where it came from. It looks exactly the same. Amber, thank you for the super chat gruel. Some chicken breast and some fatouche salad and some hummus. I'm not going to touch the fries. Maybe have one or two. But this is it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yes, yes. I do believe that's what happened. She probably eats three chickens a day. She probably ordered two. Like, she's such a fat ass. She ordered one entire chicken meal to eat herself for lunch. And then a, a, a later chicken, a chicken for later, knowing that she would be hungry and want to, you know, go on a binge. But instead of just eating the rotisserie chicken later, no, she had to, of course, fat ass out and turn it into a chicken pot pie that she herself said days ago she would never make because she knows that it's a trigger food. Ah, what a mess. Ay, ay, ay. Well, that was interesting. Lots of lies in that one. Holy shit. Lots of lies, lots of bullshit, and definitely filmed yesterday. So this video was made. She binged on chicken pot pie, ate herself into a little nap, took the nap, woke up with CPAP marks still on her face, and came onto the internet to do that whole anti-Semitic rant, rant last night because when she woke up from her nap, husband, certainly not there, all alone, lonely as hell. He probably doesn't even answer her calls. And she got mad at him and had to take it out on me. And that's what happened last night. Interesting. Amy, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> so that is us now caught up. Um, let's wait. I, I do have two notifications. Nope. Yes, we are caught up in real time in Shantopolis. So what I would like to do, if you will indulge me, because I had not watched, like I said, those last two videos. I was waiting to watch them with you guys. And then we didn't go live for a few days. So here we are a few days later. Um, I'm going to watch the sushi and chit chat. Chit chat about losing friends. That's pretty much why I'm interested in listening to this one. And then the 12 inch spicy Italian sub mukbang. Woo. Let me get the tab. Hold on. guys hello welcome back to another video all right no no you already had your chicken and vegetables all right so i'm happy valentine's day cindy thank you for the super chat one two three okay now this one's good lisa bear thank you for the super chat uh, Chantal thinks their love is one in a million, but what salad really needs is a wax of the Brazilian. Welcome back to another video. Wasabi, I won't be needing that. I hate it. Oh, they gave me soy sauce, but I have a cup of light soy sauce, which I don't like. So good. I bought it when I was trying to, uh, be super healthy. Anyway. Yeah, th that's going to make all the difference. 
She switched to light soya sauce, y'all. Uh, oh, yeah, soy. Y'all got mad because I call it soya sauce. It's just about what's written on the bottles here because of the French, okay? She switched to light soy sauce. She expected to be a skinny queen. I'm living that healthy life, guys. I did all the changes. <laughs> how is she not skinny? And how do you not like wasabi? She likes spicy food, but she doesn't like wasabi. I love wasabi. Oh, man, I'm gross like that. <laughs> Yes, Julia, that's what I'm saying. I haven't been online for a few days. That's why we're just getting to it now. Last night we were going to get to it, but then, you know, she went on a whole ass anti-Semitic rant, so priorities. I like a full salt one. Too bad. <laughs> All right. Not that I'm not trying to be healthy, but you know what I mean. Okay, so this is my favorite sushi because they don't use, like, nori seaweed. They use, like, a soy wrap. Sweet. Probably not even totally sushi. Everything is fried and has hot sauce drizzled on. But, you know. All right. So, let's set this up and let's get to, to business here. Let's talk some stuff. Let's talk some smack. No, I'm kidding. I'm not talking smack. I'm trying to be a nice human being. So, I think a lot of you should. Oh, the irony. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, the day before the anti-Semitic rant, she's saying how she wants to be a better human being. Isn't that ironic? Shh. Stop declaring things. Stop th saying that you want to be better in any way. You don't. You don't want to change. And you don't need to declare everything. If you just decided one day to be a better person, shock us all to death and just change your behavior. Stop declaring things, you asshole. Anti-Semite. Butternuts, thank you for the super sticker. To try to do the same. Let's do a nice human being challenge. No, I don't want to be nice, right? A lot of you are going to say that because it's cool to be mean. Maybe when you're 16, but when you're uh, an adult or a grandma, there's some mean grandmas online, I'm telling you. It's it's just cooler to be nice, okay? <laughs> I'm being mean to my cat by not giving her any, but she had her chicken and vegetables. All right, so that's all done. And I have water to drink. So, bismillah. All right. Yikes. Moist old hijab cheese. Thank you for the super chat. But that wasn't any kind of racist at all on her part. No. No, not at all. Ugh. But yeah, maybe she's like thinking of him. I'm sure she's thinking of him every fucking day. What difference would Valentine's Day make? She thinks of him every fucking day. And like, if only I had done this. I bet she relives the end and stuff. Oh my God. If I had only bought him a little bit more cocaine, maybe he would still be with me. This is crispy crab and something else. This is shrimp, fried tempura shrimp with cucumber and carrot. So I wanted to talk, something was on my mind when I think of sushi. It reminds me of the sushi place I used to go to with a really close friend of mine. Oh, that's so interesting. Some people, I saw a bunch of people debating who, which ex-friend she was talking about. Could she have been talking about this? Could she have been talking about this? Uh, by that one sentence, it's obvious who she's talking about. Who's the only friend, not only we've seen go for sushi with Chantal back in the day, but the only person she's ever spoken about going to sushi with? Rena. It was Rena <laughs> there. She's giving it away in the first sentence and she's trying to act all like discreet about like, who could she possibly been talking about? Yeah, it's Rena. It was like, we would go there pretty often. It was like an all you can eat sushi place where I'm from. They didn't have only sushi. It was like maybe $27. And they would give you a menu. And you write down the items you want. And it's unlimited, all you can eat. Okay. You mentioned that one sentence ago, Fatty. Move on. So. Man, she's really fucking taking down those roles, eh? 
Shit, you're one sentence into your story. You've eaten half of the sushi. Relax. Calm down. No one's coming to take it from you. My God. Tempura. Yeah, I hate how she says everything. God damn it. She's, yes, inhaling that sushi Kirby style. Nancy, thank you for the super chat. Don't show people your fanny. She's mooning you guys. So anyway, I would usually start off with like tempura shrimp, like deep fried shrimp, um, hash browns, stuff like that. Then you can order noodles. Hash browns? Oh, is she talking about a place in Cornwall? It sounds very Cornwall. So I went to the sushi, the all-you-can-eat sushi place in Cornwall, and I started with some hash browns. What the fuck? <laughs> Only Chantal. Ay -ay -ay. Oh, it's just a buffet. Okay, wait. Oh, there was never an all-you-can-eat sushi place in Cornwall. Okay, so maybe she's talking about uh, Orleans. Wait, no. Wait. Wait, let's go back in time. Where was she living when she was hanging out with Rena all the time? Gatno. It probably is in Gatno. She likes to glaze over when she used to call it, ew, ghetto, Gatno, and blah, blah, blah. Where the hell did her and BB live? Oh, yeah, that's right. It was Gatno. Nancy, <laughs> uh, you're right. You're right. It, it was like a warning shot. It could have been a funnier kick. I got nothing to say about that. You're right. Yes, hash browns at a sushi place. <laughs> Lori B, thank you for the super chat. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Sushi. Baked mussels with cheese on top. Mm, by the way, yes, I'm still injured, but the show must go on. <laughs> This is the show. Anyways. Um, so I used to go with this really close friend of mine that I've known for a long time. And like people always ask me, like, do you have friends? And I realized that a lot of friends I used to hang out with before I had a YouTube or I mean, at the beginning when I had a YouTube, I still had still hung around with them. But my friends in Canada, I don't really talk to anymore. Maybe if maybe like one or two. Maybe like one. And it's Pete's. You have no other friend in Canada. Stop lying. You're telling stories now about Rena. Going for sushi with Rena. It's Rena. Rena's the one that you don't talk to anymore. We know Shannon is also an ex friend that you don't talk to anymore. But right now, the story you're telling is about you and Rena. Stop acting like you have friends. We've been watching 16 hours of your life on live stream for years at this point. Only recently have you stopped that shit. What friends? Stop lying. <laughs> is it people that you knew in high school? Is that what she's referencing? Like the people, let's say, I don't know. She was like friendly with in high school and stuff. Does she still at 40 fucking years old call that her friends, even though they haven't spoken in what, 23, 24, 25 years? Oh, no. Ultraviolet shade. Thank you for the super chat. Maybe that's, yeah, maybe that's it. I'm like, what's up? And I realized just how isolating being on YouTube can be. Like for me, in my case, being a YouTuber can be. Um, I think around the time that, a couple years ago, around the time that I was going through like deep addiction and just like um, being in an abusive relationship and everything. I kind of started isolating like more and more and 
I think just grew. I didn't get fucked. Here we go. Here we go. You know why she's saying that? Because that's a very like stereotypical thing that people going through cycle of DV do isolate. They don't want the people around them to know what's going on. And often your abuser kind of isolates you from the people who had been around you. That's just her spewing out shit that she knows typically happens in a DV situation. Bitch, we were watching you for years before you ever met Koki. Who the fuck did he isolate you from? Who the fuck did you isolate yourself from during that time? Nobody. The same people who were in your life before it are the same people in your life after it. And that's nobody. That's your mother, your fucking Uncle Phil, and Pete's. That's it. Nothing has changed. Yeah, deep addiction. <laughs> Stop trying to rewrite history even about this time, Chantal. You sound pathetic. You don't have any friends because you treat people disposable. And when you don't think there's any more use to them, user, you get rid of them. It's what you've always done. You threw Shannon under the bus. Pete's doesn't get thrown under the bus because Pete's, you know, in a pinch will always be her roommate again. will always help her out if she's in a bind again. Pete's is useful to her. So she keeps Pete's, right? We don't know what happened with Rena, but it didn't seem to be Chantal's choice what happened with Rena. It was so abrupt. Rena was in videos consistently, consistently, and poof, and she was gone. And this one never mentioned her again. It seems like Rena got fed up of her shit and fed up of the person that she changed into when she started doing the YouTube all the time. My silver unicorns, thank you for the super chat. It's not that I necessarily am not friends with them. Nothing happened. We didn't fall out. It's just that I just became so consumed with YouTube. And I think that for them, like, I, I think even one friend admitted to me, like, it was kind of awkward for them that, like, because they would like see, like, for example, I think like this one friend tried not to watch my channel because for her, it was kind of awkward, you know, like it was like, she felt like she was invading my privacy just by watching it because I wouldn't even talk about these things to my friends. You know, I've said that before. I don't like unloading on people in my real life. When I would go out with my friends, I just wanted to have fun, eat sushi. What the fuck? You unload on everybody constantly. You can't deal with one emotion on your own without, you know, putting it on someone else. I don't like unloading on people in my real life. <laughs> you have unloaded every problem you've ever had on the people in your real life. Your mother has always been there to clean up your messes. Every problem you've ever had because she feels guilty about how you grew up. We see the, like, the dynamic. We see what goes on. What do you try and hide from people in your real life? You go to a movie, go to the mall, talk about anything else. I mean, whenever I was working in an office, we would always just gossip about our work or whatever, you know? But at one point, my channel just became very dark. And I talked about everything with you with like online with you guys. And I didn't want to talk more about it to my friends, you know, I don't know, it's just a totally different vibe in real life friends, you know, and we just grew apart. Like, I don't know if that had a lot to do with it. But I think it did have something to do with it. Because, um, and a lot of, a lot of, you know, those people, it's not like I had a ton of friends anyway. I had like maybe two really good friends that I don't talk to anymore. Um, Shannon and Rena. <laughs> like she, she gives those little nuggets in the story that are clearly true. We even know who they are. Right. And then also tries to lie about the, no, no, I have plenty of friends. No, no, you had to, you had to at the time and poof, poof, they're both gone. And now you're left with Pete's. This is so stupid. What a waste of words. Stop wasting words and time. Damn it. The dildo. Thank you for the super chat. Roses are red. Baja ba blast is blue. Dee Dee's folds are gray and Koki still chooses her over you. Oh man. Listen, speaking of Baja blast, you know what? Frenchie got herself for Valentine's day. Baja blast from Amazon. I shit you not. I have a case of cans. I've made a deal with myself where I'm only going to have one every two days to make them last. They were expensive, but it's my gift to myself. I'm so excited to have them. America, America, can we talk for a second? You don't even know how lucky you are to consistently have access to Baja Blast in a can. Fuck, don't take it for granted. God damn it, you fuckers are lucky. Why do you get all the good stuff? I don't know. I haven't heard their side of it, uh, maybe a little bit, but I know for some friends, for some of them, it was like, they were also kind of 
they saw how like people would, you know, trolls or people would like invade my real life and try to ruin it and stuff. And they were kind of like afraid of that, you know? Mm. <laughs> well, I get free health care. You're right. You're right. What's more important, my, my, you know, my like ramp cue card, my free health care or the access to the Baja Blast? Uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, yes, I did see the Baja Blast uh, gelato. It looks delicious. We probably won't get it here because we don't ever get shit. I'm not going to say, well... If a friend is not going to want to talk to me just because I'm going through tough things and stuff like this, then they're not real friends. But I don't feel like I was a real friend either because. If a friend doesn't want to talk to me just because I'm going through tough things, then they're not a real friend. Okay. You remember when Shannon was going through tough things that we only found out of because she, uh, Chantal came to the internet and started raging, not raging, but ranting about Shannon. Nobody knew that Shannon had gone to the hospital. Nobody knew what was going on. Shannon had gotten rid of her channel and she was away from the internet, completely out of girl world. And these two were talking again. They were okay. And that's how she treated Shannon, her friend of 23 years or whatever, in her moment of need. So with your own logic, Chantal, didn't you just admit that that makes you a bad friend? Like, I didn't do anything really much to maintain the relationships, you know? I get like relationship maintenance burnout. Relationship maintenance burnout. <laughs> wow. Fucking martyr relationship. Cause she just has so many friends. It's so overwhelming trying to like keep up with it all. You had two people in your life, man. And thus you grow further and further apart. I think it just started with the time in between connecting with them would grow further and further apart. And um, here's what I think the truth is. She had BB at the time and we all know how obsessive she is when there's a man in her life and she did love BB. So I'm sure that obsession was alive and well. Priorities totally out of whack. We forget all about our friends when we have our love. So there was BB. And then on top of BB, what came in was the YouTube channel. So when she wasn't like e -e 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 with BB, she was obsessed about growing the YouTube channel because she did not want to go back to work. Her dream was to get the YouTube channel going so she could do exactly what she does. Sit on her fat ass and stuff her face for coin. She got her wish. Be careful what you wish for. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. You know, Grandma Spud, I got the ketchup. You want the old dress too? I'll get the old dress. I say that out of the side of my mouth like I'm just speaking to you, you know? <laughs> and thus. TM, thank you for the super chat. Way. It can be isolating, you know, because like I don't have a normal life. When you're on social media and you're controversial, you don't have a normal life. And they're totally you know, have normal life. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy or Delulu, but I think I, I have a pretty normal life. Pretty, pretty normal. So maybe it, it depends what you do on the internet. Reaction channel, you stay pretty normal. Your feet are well planted on the ground. You don't live in the fucking clouds. Uh, stuffing your face till brain damage. <laughs> 
<laughs> and about to lose a leg and so narcissistic that you really think you're a celebrity and stuff for doing it. Maybe, maybe, yeah, it does. It depends what you're doing on the internet. Hmm. She would only eat fried sushi. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this PewDiePie? Exactly. She's delusional. Uh, Denny, thank you for the super chat. Aha. Uh -huh. I suffered through three pregnancies with sciatic pain. The car was hell for me. Road trips just didn't happen. Exactly. The thought of sitting there that long and the, the bumping of a car, no fucking way. I don't know. I think I've just some point. I really don't know. I know this looks like a lot of sushi, but I don't find sushi filling at all. I find it's like one of those foods you could just eat and eat. That's any food for you. And that's stupid. You started this by saying that, yeah, you only, those were fried sushi. You're not eating sushi in the, like, the way that sushi was intended to be. And even if you were, after that kind of quantity of rice, anybody would be full. Ma'am, they're covered in rice. We know you take down hubcaps of rice, but that's a lot of rice and a lot of fried food. And not get full. I don't know why. I get full eating rice, but not when it's in sushi form. You do not get full eating mm. rice. Also, you know, I can tell she has nothing to talk about. Listen to how long she just chewed. When does she ever chew? No, never chews like that. She had nothing to say, so she was thinking about it while she chewed. Chantal's cake pork apron. Thank you for the super sticker. With mental illness, you don't have the emotional, like the energy at all sometimes to talk to anybody, you know? Go fuck yourself. Stop hiding behind the screen of with mental illness and with mental illness. You're talking about what, seven years ago now when you fell out with Rena because you couldn't maintain the relationship because of your mental illness? Why didn't you go get yourself help for said mental illness seven years ago? Six, five, four, three, two, one, right fucking now. You refuse to go and get help equals you should not get to use excuses like that well you know the mental illness fuck you and your fucking self-diagnosed mental illness asshole if you're unwilling to get help you don't get to use it as a, a shield at 40 years old for your bad behavior so the people i do have in my life now understand that um ah so pete's Lady Whistledown, thank you so much for the super chat. Ooh, I like it. I'll check it out. Thank you. I could not have needy friends. Of course not. You're needy enough for all of you. <laughs> She can't deal with a needy friend. She's the needy one. She's the greedy one. She can't do anything for anyone else. No needy friends. Wow. But they better take care of her when she's in need. But relationships, friendships do need work. Like any relationship. You have to put in. And I have nothing to give right now. When have you ever given? Again, in at least the seven years of watching your channel, you're not a giver. You give to men, not to friends. You're an asshole to your friends, and you expect them to stick around and keep giving to you. Nee Marie, hey, wifey number three. Happy Valentine's Day, bish. Nada. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. So, yeah, we used to go to the sushi place a lot. <clears throat> and I miss those dinner dates. But at this point, if we got together again, it would be so. There's just so much that's happened in my life online since then. I wouldn't even know where to start. Oh, this is a super obnoxious thing to mukbang. You you can't tell a story while you're stuffing your face with this kind of food. It takes too long to chew one of these pieces of sushi. This is just disgusting. I uh, hear the chewing and stuff. Fuck off, Chantal. Go have your fucking binge elsewhere. Stop it. She found something to talk about. Ooh, she's like, oh, let me do a video. Oh. Bullshit as usual. Fuck, be honest about why Rena doesn't come around you anymore. You did something to piss her off. Maybe she didn't like the hate comments she was getting from being on your fucking channel or having anything to do with you. Or maybe the only thing you talk about is YouTube. So you're out with your friend, Rena, like you said, who have you, y'all have been friends with for years. You are trying to get your fucking YouTube channel going. And something tells me you're one of those people. The only thing you'll talk about is fucking YouTube. I can't stand those people. Not just YouTube, but uh, definitely. I can't stand people who do YouTube who only want to talk about YouTube when they're not on YouTube and stuff. It's the same type of person. You ever had like made friends at work uh, and you think you really like someone at work and like, okay, cool. Let's go chill. Let's go. I don't know. Go for a coffee, go for dinner, whatever. And you realize the entire time, all they want to talk about is work. I hate that you ever had a partner like that. Oh, get fucked. Listen, listen, you come home, vent about work a little bit, but it's not all night. Fuck, do you ever turn off? I can't stand people like that. And I have a feeling that's exactly how Chantal is. Poppy Kitten, you're right. She did use Rena for content. You're absolutely right. Yeah, and Rena was really good to her at the beginning. And they had a good little rapport. They, I don't know, Rena had the same like little sense of humor as Chantal. And they would giggle at the same dumb shit together. And she was always down for whatever Chantal wanted to do for like the video of the day and stuff. She fucked it up. Actually, in real life, with my friends, I'm a good listener. I don't like to even talk about myself. Bullshit. The person I used to go out with for sushi, I would look forward to them talking about themselves to, to get my mind off my own problems. And she had a way of storytelling. She's a writer, actually, so she has a very um, good storytelling ability and she would talk sometimes we would go out and just go out for dinner and then go to a cafe and just talk she would talk for hours and i would never get bored of listening to her never because she was so interesting the way she would tell her view on something you know hold on hold on nikki nikki frenchie remember the new year's eve that she promised rena that she would attend her party no that wasn't rena that was shannon that was shannon she had gone for uh Correct me if I'm wrong, but even the hotel, I believe, was right by Shannon's or like in the court somewhere. It was the the New Year's Eve party at Shannon's. And she flaked at the last second. Yeah, no, Rena had already been long gone from her life at that point. Basement, baby. Thank you for the super chat. That's the difference between a good storyteller and somebody who's just boring. Like, for example, if you have something that happened, oh, this guy got... Uh, I don't know, something happens in the news, you know? It could be the most mundane thing, but the way she would talk about it and give her spin on it and her insight, it made it interesting. Capricorn NJ, <laughs> never. Thank you for the super chat, but I'll stick with my superior bagels, I suppose. I fuck off Penny's Rock. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, girl. So, staring at the fucking ceiling. Can we leave? Are we done? One piece left, and I feel like I've eaten nothing. 
I swear, I don't know. It's so weird. It's not weird. You're a fat ass. And by saying that, you're just planning to go on to a second meal. We get it, fatty. We get it. What are you ordering next on your binge? I feel like I've eaten nothing. She ate like what? Cup and a half of rice at least there. Done with that one. On to the next stuffing of the face. So 12-inch spicy Italian sub mukbang. I like that. 12-inch divided by two. This is two separate sandwiches. She's got a sandwich and a backup sandwich. She can call it 12 inches all she wants. Hold on. Let me get the tab. Well, hello, guys. Hello. Welcome back to another mukbang. Some water here. Just no BS. Noah. Thank you for the super chat. Comic book, cold water for you. Hey, you're not getting it. This I just fed this cat. Unbelievable. You take it after me or something? All right. So we have here Substop, which is a local Kuwaiti company, owned company. Substop, basically the same as Subway, but not Subway. And have a spare sandwich. A spare sandwich. <laughs> Backup sandwich in full effect. That does look as gross as Subway. The bread looks nasty like Subway, but it's bootleg Subway. <sighs> Rosie, thank you for the super chat. But yeah, she loves the attention. I think she would freak out. And I have a six inch. This can always go in the fridge if I don't want it. Oh. And some cheesy chips and some diet soda. Okay. So here we go. Miriam bite. <laughs> she just sang hallelujah after Miriam bite. Oh my God. Spicy BMT. Toasted oregano and Parmesan bread. Lettuce, tomato. Olives, pickles. Southwest sauce, mayo. Olive oil and vinegar. I don't know what else. Me, Marie, wife number three. Thank you for the super chat. Um, a Jafar ring and a fashion shoot at Gatineau Park. But you do the fashion shoot all alone. It goes without saying. And you have to reimburse me for the ring. <laughs> well, guys, we have a ghost in here. Or a gin or whatever it is. And mozzarella cheese. Ooh, Tay Ozzy rubbing it in, girl. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for doing that. And enjoy the cheap Baja Blast. I'm not even going to tell you what I paid for 12 because oh. <laughs> just seeing what 12 costs you makes my heart hurt. I walk around the house reciting the Quran. Shut up. You do not. Remember the other day I was live streaming off camera and I saw a black shadow? This time, I was cleaning the bathroom. One of them. And in the spare bathroom in the hall, the shower, because we have two showers, one has bathtub, one no. This is a standing shower with a glass door. So I'm cleaning the bathroom and I get to the shower. We already know you're lying. You don't clean the bathroom. This is clearly a fucking lie. And she's only telling about a second incident so that we don't all think that the first one is just her losing her sight to the beatus. And yeah, I know ghosts are jealous of this. You can't eat this. I know. Even though when we get to heaven, apparently you're supposed to be able to have anything you want. Anyway. Are you shitting me? Where can you send me Baja Blast? <laughs> Question mark with big smile. <laughs> uh, my P.O. Box address is written in the description down below. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. I get to the shower part of cleaning. And I open the door, the glass door. And I go, in, I'm like, I have to leave for a minute. I forgot the cleaner, like the specific cleaner for like mildew and stuff for showers. So it's in the kitchen. I leave to go in the kitchen. I come back. And the door's closed.
Now, that's unsettling because. Mm. Onions, too. I would hear the door closing. Like, I should hear it. It's a glass door. Also, I wasn't gone for very long in the kitchen. Less than a minute. Maybe a minute. Let's say. It doesn't. Wow, what? I don't remember that at all. Taz D, thank you for the super chat. I last remember seeing Rena was Foodie Beauty's birthday while with BB. Foodie Beauty insisting eating on camera. Rena looked disgusted, never saw her again. Why, why do I not remember that video at all? I don't remember like a Rena BB interaction ever. I'm going to go back in the archive. Thank you, Taz D. I would love to see that. It doesn't take long to close the door, but I mean, I don't know. Anyways. Oh, yeah, me just glazing over the stupid story she's telling right now and having no commentary at all because I don't believe the story. And if the door closed, it's because of the damn cat. This is so stupid. And when she thought she saw the shadow the other day, I believe it's because she's losing her sight due to the beatus. It's not that deep. That really did make my hair stand up on end. Like When you experience something weird like that, it's... A different kind of fear, you know? Hey, Kugaron, thank you for the super sticker. Because that's a worldly creature, you know? This is so I can't explain it. Yeah, yeah. I you know what? I can't explain it. You had fuck all to talk about, as usual. I sound like a broken goddamn record. You wanted to come out here and, and binge your two fucking meals. And you needed something to talk about because you can't just sit in silence filming yourself eating and put it up on YouTube. So here you are lying about an incident in the bathroom after lying about a shadow and lying about the... This sucks. Chantal, you are the worst. This channel is garbage, man. Can you believe it? It's so... This channel has come so low that the anti-Semitic rant she went on last night is the best content she's had in ages. How fucking sick are the words that just came out of my mouth? I left the, the shower door open because I remember like looking around and thinking oh, I got to remove the toiletries and everything. And I, you know, I, I remember looking right, inside zombie, the Thank you for the super chat. Absolutely. Thank you, Loza. I'm going to check it out after the stream. I don't know. Maybe I'm losing it. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. I should set up a camera. Rhymes enough for me. Pizza Kitty, thank you for the super chat. I want to tell you guys, be grateful. Be super grateful for everything you have right now because the story I'm about to tell you, of the things I've seen, I was watching a series called the most ungrateful motherfucker of all time just sat there and told all of us to be grateful for what we have. The shit. Be grateful for everything you have. Chantal, you've never been grateful for a fucking thing a day in your life. Don't preach at everybody else what to do. Sit there, shut up, stuff your face on your two meals, and tell us this story that you ripped off from somewhere now. Because that's what we're about to get. Every story she tells us is ripped off from someone else. the most like insane the worst prisons in the world and the one episode i was watching was like from um madagascar here my ignorant self is thinking madagascar thanks to disney is like full of cute giraffes and everything <laughs> singing elephants i'm sure it's a beautiful country but this is what Disney doesn't show you. So the prison there, um, actually, I learned that Madagascar is the only country where you can still get the plague. The plague. 
Yeah, like the plague from the hear ye, hear ye days. That plague. Anyway, this prison is inhumane. And I hope they do something about it, but that country doesn't have a lot of money on a whole. This is the conversation now? We're going to talk about TV shows we randomly watched years ago? This, this is all we can come up with to stuff our face on our two fucking sandwiches? A TV show that played years ago. Oh, this is wild. Jesus Christ. What? Wait, wait. What's on her ring finger? A cut? Her finger also has a fupa. Yeah, I think it's just the fupa fold of the finger. The The band has become so tight, it's like forcing a fucking fupa fold. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's true. But but they believe in uh, gin. Gin and, and th you know what I mean? It can appear as things like that. A shadow, a light beam. A th I used to... Oh, God, listen, I had a partner who was fucking obsessed. Oh, I mean, when I tell you obsessed, I got to the point. Like, I'm a believer in shit, okay? I got to a point, I'll just be rolling my eyes like, Jesus, are we just going to be talking about gins and shit all day long, you know? So, no, they don't necessarily believe in ghosts, but it's like <clears throat> their own type of evil presence, you know what I mean? All I would hear about every day was goddamn gins this, Degel that, the end of the world, and these are the signs and stuff. Oh, fuck. Shut up. Just shut up. I even feel bad eating this, talking about this, because... So... The prison has, like, a capacity for, like, 1,400 people or something like that, and it has quadruple that amount. Oh, that's so like, sweet. All of Martini. That's great, girl. Happy Valentine's Day to both of you. Thank you for the super chat. People are sleeping like sardines next to each other on the hard floor. There's no AC, and it's Africa. So, like, it's super hot, and they get shut in the cell. And then the guard has to come in and give them, tell them when to turn over. So there's a lot of horrible things going on, I'm sure you can imagine. Um... It's hot. Imagine being like over cramped with like in one room with like 60 men all sweating. And anyway, there's a little bathroom. I won't even tell you about that when I'm eating. If you get sent to the hole, there's no bathroom in there. You get okay, I got one of those chicken or the egg questions. If there was a gin in the bat in the fart box, the gin would leave because it got depressed. What if she is the gin in the fart box? Kaboom. <laughs> get half of the food that you would normally get. Um, it's been described as literal hell. People just laying in their own waste all day. Okay, you're eating food, bitch. Why would you tell us a story like this while you're eating food? This is awful. Can we skip way ahead? I'm really not interested in this at all. Oh, Lord, she's down to just chips. Oh, and the backup sandwich. Oh, look at her pretending like she's only going to eat the one sandwich. How dainty. Proving to us all what a skinny queen she is. Hey, Chantal, you psycho. What the fuck? Retired redneck, thank you for the super chat. I just got mad at this gal for the dumbest reason. Madagascar was DreamWorks. You oversized pumpkin, not Disney. All right, that's that's a niche rage, but we like a niche rage around here. Nothing wrong with that. She's not too far off from this, I mean. I know the Baja Blast ice cream just sounds so good because the thing I love most about Baja Blast is that it's not too sweet. So the idea of like the not too sweet gelato just, oh, oh, I don't know that. Mm, it's going to be delicious. I know it will. Y'all will have to tell me how good it is. <laughs> Katie, thank you for the super chat. Hmm, I know. I want it so bad, girl. I'm so jelly. So... I'm going to put the other half in the fridge. The lies! I wish I could share it with them. <laughs> like, horrifying. So bad. And there's a woman's side of the prison. 
and um, love of Christ. Okay, okay. So what you're saying is we skipped an entire video and missed absolutely nothing. She's still talking about the goddamn prison. I'm so glad we skipped over this. You know what that means to me? All we skipped was a bunch of chewing of chips. I am not here for a bunch of chewing of fucking chips. God damn it, Chantal. Oh, on the woman's side of the prison. Fuck off. That is minutes of our lives that we just saved. You can't get back time, y'all. Precious. Not wasting it on chips. If I'm wasting it on chips, it's me stuffing my face with chips. Not listening to this one. Jerry's Keeper, thank you for the super chat. I was late to the stream, so I had to rewind and see FFG reaction to kick and car entrance. It was the highlight of this entire night, for sure, in terms of the content. Y'all are the highlight of the entire night, but that goes without saying every fucking night. Okay, well, I now understand why nobody was talking about that 12-inch uh, sandwich mukbang at all. I do understand why people were talking shit about her sushi one, though. That was a good time. Thank you for indulging me, even though I know most of y'all had already seen it a couple of times. Huh. The star of tonight, in my opinion, was the video she put out today. It's blatantly obvious that video was recorded yesterday. The video pissed her off. Making of that video pissed her off. The fact that he then dumps her at home and leaves her there pissed her off. She had a whole ass binge on a chicken pot pie alone. And then, you know, woke up to go on an anti-Semitic rant for no fucking reason at all. And now today she put out this video, right? She hasn't come live. She's pretending to be busy with her fake incel husband for Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's amazing. Enjoy it, Chantal. Matt Cook, thank you for the super chat. She would love to be in a room of 60 jail then. And like her husband, she's <laughs> they still wouldn't touch her. Yeah, absolutely not. No, can't blame him. Can you blame him? Okay, blame him. <sighs> anyway, y'all listen. That was interesting. We're going to uh, cut it early for tonight since it is Valentine's Day. All right. You may or may not have plans. I may or may not have plans. <laughs> Tomorrow, on the other hand, we can go a little longer, a little longy, less of a quickie. Okay. We're going to tomorrow, of course, catch up on whatever she gives us present time, real time to work with. And then we are going to watch that. Uh, third in our series of retro reacts, Chantal loses her shit and shaves her head. This is her and the buzzer. It's going down tomorrow. All right. So that is the plan. Tentative. The plan could change if she comes out on another fucking anti-Semitic rant or whatever. But assuming we don't get some kind of a flare up from the lunatic, that's the plan for tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> uh, on Friday, uh, again, it always goes without saying that we start with Chantal shit, okay? After that, I would like to do something else. Maybe a little lush, maybe a little something. I don't fucking know. Maybe lush. We'll check lush, okay? Um, I would like to end the stream on Friday with something that's not Chantal's fat fucking face in mine. I, I, it's, it's been a lot of her lately. Yesterday's whole ass rant is still very much in my head. We're going to have to go out on something a little more Radchester, okay? So that's the plan for Friday. Woo! Y'all, thank you so, so much for being here tonight. Uh, I really appreciate it. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I hope you all so far have had a great Valentine's Day. If you're doing something tonight, have a great time. If not, have a great hump day. It's either hump day or it's just hump day. You know what I mean? Either way, enjoy your hump days. Be safe. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? Good night. Howdy ho.
like how hypocrisy you are, oh my god.